Welcome to the Core User Group 2022. I'm glad to present uh, the Cloud Signaling Director, specifically used in the context of an SCP for monitoring. My name is Satvinder Singh Bhava, and uh, I'll take you through what all Cloud Signaling Director does, what, what does it specifically do for SCP, and how monitoring is a very relevant use case, which is typically not discussed uh, in most scenarios um, whenever we are talking about SCP. We have been doing 4G signaling, so SCP is to signaling, um, uh, to 5G signaling what DRA was to 4G signaling. SCP, so Nokia's SCP is a full function SCP, which can carry out all the functions of load balancing, NF selection, reselection, overload control, throttling, all of that. All of these things we typically hear when we think about standards and so on. But what we do not hear is what can it do additional which because of its specific placement in the network. And that is monitoring and tracing or counting of packets. So as you see, SCP sits right in the middle of a network where all sorts of messages are going through there, which means that you can count those messages, you can look at those messages, you can inspect where things might be going wrong, and you can help troubleshoot your network in that manner. So this is just a quick screenshot showing how we know how many total messages are going through there, how many of them are succeeding, how many are failing, what is the performance characteristic, and all of that. And why does it work in SCP? Because although the packets are encrypted everywhere, but specifically at SCP, they are not encrypted. A packet gets started here, it is encrypted on the wire, but when it comes to SCP, it is no longer encrypted. At this point, we can make multiple copies of it. We can send it to multiple destinations, and so on. So the same thing repeats for the response leg of this as well. So that's how this process concludes. So in mirroring, we take the packet, we package all the necessary information, where it came from, where was it going, what happened to it, when was it sent, did it succeed, if not, what happened, all of that is packaged and put there. So just to show you a quick example, what does that look like? So generally when we capture a packet, we capture all the header information and we make it available that this is what came in the packet, so it is all here. This is what was the payload of the packet. We also add all the information which will be needed for you to figure out what was this packet, where was it going, where was it coming from, and a correlation identifier is injected so you can correlate it with the response message of this particular packet. The second thing is about tracing. So this is a tracing GUI. This is an open source system, and here you can capture all the messages and take a look if you have any concerns occurring in your network. You can capture all the packets as they are progressing through the network. It will give you a scatter plot of the different performance curves and so on. If you see any packets of concern, for example, this one up here, you can say that why is this one taking so much time to get processed? You can come, you can drill down, you can keep on expanding this thing, you can see all the in key information and so on. And this will give you what's going on, whether your attention is needed or not. So these are some of the key components which people do not think about when they are thinking about SCPs. And I wanted to take this opportunity at Core User Group today to bring these to your attention.